Alright guys, so what is up? Uh, I'm so pumped. Uh, yeah, so I hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, it's the best feeling ever, even though it doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that's a lot. And this progress I had over this past year of doing YouTube is pretty awesome. I have 1,000 like I wanted, and now I plan on getting 10,000. That's my next goal. So, and I wanted to show a video of what's in my baseball bag. Alright guys, so obviously I made uh, a video re earlier this week and it was just telling you guys like what's going to happen, stuff like that, but like it wasn't really a video. Uh, this is the video I wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm back and everything and I just wanted to start off right, uh, start off with the boom. And yeah, for you guys that known me for a while uh, on YouTube, uh, watch my videos, this is probably one of my top type of video that I made. And yeah, so this is for you guys and girls that like baseball and want to know what's up with gear. So yeah, what's in my baseball bag? So, this is my baseball bag 2019 preseason. Uh, it's not completely done yet because I still got a little touch-ups that I got to do with this bag and put in it. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Alright, so I haven't completely got all my gear yet from the college and I'm still getting that and I'm gonna start off with what I have right now and right here we have the bag obviously it's a Louisville Slugger it uh, has a Swede head on it our logo uh, and it says baseball under it um, yeah so this bag is I, I used this last year and we ended up get, being able to keep it and so far I like it got, you got the two uh, bat holders um, and then you got like uh, I guess you would say cleats is where I put my cleats in the front pocket and then little accessories right here in this zipper and then got my pine tar up in this front and all that and then you have the big pocket that's the first thing uh, so next we got cleats um, so for my practice cleats that I use in this bag are my new uh, new balance from last year uh, these were my game cleats and these cleats have just like kept up with me if you guys have not watched that video make sure you go watch that video right now it'll show these like brand new and I actually kept these pretty clean I actually put them in the washer a couple times whenever I was playing though like all this chipped off you got some chips everywhere around but these cleats are a recommendation um, I love them they're very comfortable New Balance always the way to go and yeah these are my practice cleats alright guys so for game cleats we have actually team cleats that we're going to be getting. They have not came in yet, but we will be getting them soon. They are Under Armour since our uniforms and all that are Under Armour this year, not Nike. And the cleats that I bought originally, not knowing that we had team cleats, were the Under Armours, which I did make a video on. I'll have it up here. It'll be a link towards the YouTube video. And you can also check down in the description. So it's the Bryce Harpers or Low Tops. What I love about these is that they're actually comfortable. I have not use them yet but I will soon since now that we're getting team cleats I also use these in the game these are limited time cleats limited edition cleats and yeah they're very beautiful I love them um, they're Under Armour my favorite brand as most of you guys know has lots of detail on them and yeah I would recommend these but I have not yet played in them so I do not know what I do like is the bottom they have molded cleats and uh, metal cleats so which is pretty cool my gloves that I'm using this year I have two gloves obviously you guys know them they're my main gloves that I've always been using and the first one you have my 44 Pro glove uh, obviously it was customized by me I made a video about it is it one of my top videos it's my favorite uh, this is my gamer practice everything I use this all the time it's just my favorite uh, one of my favorite gloves ever the color as you can tell it got like a little worn out because I've been wearing it a lot. Uh, you got the Texas flag. You got ALO, represent. Um, my name in there. You got that. And yeah, the fur and all this, the feeling of this has been the best. It stayed in shape. I always take care of it. Besides, like I haven't cleaned it up yet in, in a minute. But yeah, I love it. Always the best. 44, thank you guys for again for making that perfect glove for me. So the next glove I also use is this Bethany glove that... 
I love. I have not yet to use it in a game, but I plan on doing it this year. I used it during practice. It's a mesh type glove, not all leather, so it's kind of different. Also has Alo right here, so you got to represent. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a dope glove. Now we're going to, uh, let's see, what can we do? Y'all want to do bats? Let's do bats. My top. This is my favorite part of the video. So last year, I got one of the best uh, bats out there. It's the Cat 7, but not just the original Cat 7. It is the Buster Posey edition. And it looks like the Buster Posey 28. Instead of a wood bat, this Posey 28 is a metal bat, and it looks exactly like it. It's a Marucci bat. Obviously, it has my name on it because I love my name everywhere on my stuff for some reason. I don't know. It's just me. It's a 3228. I clean it every day or most of the time after practice or after a game. So, but I haven't cleaned it in a bit, but it has scratched up. Uh, it's not as new as it looks, um, but it's been a year since this one. But yeah, the grip, Ruchi grip is always my favorite. It's the best. It never wears out and it's still like perfect till this day. So if you want to buy a bat, I recommend buying Marucci bats because of the grip and like the bat's just good in general. So yeah, go buy one. Alright, so I will be using that bat still. Top favorite. Um, everything's my top favorite. That's one of the bats I'll be using this year. And then my favorite, oh man, I didn't even know I was getting this. Like, so for Christmas, I actually got this bat and this bat was like, it was the bat I wanted, but like, I just put it on my list to get because I was like, I don't know if I'll get it, but if I get it, I get it. You know, it's that type of feeling. And guess what it is, guys? Guess what it is? All right, so it's a Cat 8. Oh, my gosh. It's pretty sexy, uh, in my opinion. I have yet to put the wrapper off because I have not used it. Uh, we are practicing right now, so I'm going to be using it soon. Uh, obviously, it's going to be like the Posey 28, but just the newer edition. Grip, obviously. It's gonna be the best because I'm just looking at it right now. It just looks so new compared to this one, but like they're both still good. But you want the better, one, the newer one, and it's gonna work the best. Oh, and I also did forget to mention that this bat is a 3228, and yeah, I've always been using this, and that's gonna be my size for the rest of my life because it just fits perfect and it feels the best. And if you guys are ever wondering if y'all wanna see these bats online or all any of this equipment i have all the links in the description below and yeah go check them out the next thing is going to be batting gloves with the batting gloves uh i'm sticking with the same batting gloves i've been using which are the garden gloves these garden gloves that i have are literally like there's 16 pairs of these in this box that cost me two dollars uh yeah i'll bring them out right now so these gloves to me, they are, they have the best grip, the best feeling, it's so comfortable, they're like so smooth, and yeah, these are them. So the grip, as you can tell, they have like stickiness, I don't know, they look like football gloves to me, but they're not, they're just garden gloves to pick them weeds out, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and the material, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's so weird. <laughs> but yeah, they're my favorite. I've been using them for the past like three years. The same brand and everything. I'll, I don't even know what brand they are. Wells Lamont maybe? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, these gloves, they're my go-to. Uh, I don't recommend buying like $40 pair of gloves. Shoot, if you can find garden gloves that are like extra cheap, get them. Like you don't want to miss this at all. Like you want to buy them. Like, I just don't have one pair that I use. I, I keep in my bag, like, two pairs or three, maybe. Uh, let me check. Yeah, just two. And, uh, yeah, here they are. So, but if I ever have them rip, which I have yet to go through, um, I, if I do, if they ever do rip, I'll just go to the box, get another one. But, like, all these gloves, they've been, like, one pair lasts me, like, a good, well, I had one for over a year now, so, and I just threw them away. So, this is my second, uh, pair right here. And then obviously I'll have my third for backup just in case they get too wet or something. Who knows? Sweaty. The next thing I'm going to do like uh, gear, I guess, like like elbow guards, uh, leg guards, stuff like that. And here we go. All right. So the first thing is the elbow guard that I used last year, this uh, Cutter's elbow guard. It's white. 
Um, it's pretty uh, bulky, but not as bulky as I thought it would be. Um, it fits perfect. It's so comfortable. It's so dirty, as you can tell. Like, I've been using this one for, like, a good three years now. Um, this one's my favorite one so far, and it will always be this. Link will be in the description. Okay, so the second elbow guard that I might be using this year is uh, my Under Armour elbow guard that I got, like, in high school, but, like, I wanted to bring it back because... This is also a very good one just in case I don't want to like be if I'm like uncomfortable with this cutters one since it's so so much bigger I'll show you the difference. Uh this one covers like most of the arm and elbow. This one's just like elbowish. And yeah, this is going to be it's very old and this is going to be one of my elbow guys that I'm going to be using. Uh also it's going to be depending on what uniform we're wearing. Uh we're like black, uh gold, blue and probably gray. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna base it off of. So the next thing is uh, my leg guard. Uh, this leg guard is based on Under Armour, uh, my favorite brand again. Uh, it also has this piece right here. Uh, I also got this for Christmas and it's pretty, I always wanted an Under Armour leg guard cause you know, MLB The Show 18, 19, uh, freaking 16, they all had this and it looks so nice. Uh, I never thought it would be so big like, this compared to the elbow guard, yeah, it's obviously going to be 10 times bigger. It's covering your shin on your inside of your leg. Um, but yeah, this is, it's comfortable. I tried it on and it's nice. It look, matches this Under Armour elbow guard and I think it's pretty cool. And I will for sure be using this one this year. Next thing that I have is eyewear and the first set of glasses I'm going to be showing you is Under Armour. Uh, I'm going to be using these more on like whenever it's like not too dark or no it's darker but not too light and yeah they're this type of lens you can see through it they are Under Armour like I said and I'm also going to be having some uh, lens that are dark which are right here and they're darker just to, for whenever it's brighter outside alright so the next set of glasses I have are Oakley's uh, these are the ones I used last year and I showed them in my last year's video uh, these are the lens of the prisms uh, they're one of my favorites oh, so comfortable they just look so good um like if you wear these you obviously know you're stud so yeah uh if i would buy these oh my gosh what is that who knows uh but yes these are my favorite glasses that i wear and i also have a different lens which i'm about to show you uh these orange ones right here i wear those uh the same amount depending on what kind of i'm feeling basically and yeah Oakley's are definitely ones to buy if you're looking in glasses. Some stuff I still use to this day, which as y'all know, like y'all have seen if you compare this to the last year's video. And like the next item I have is pine tar and like grip, stuff like that. And yes, I still use this Marucci grip right here. It's my favorite. And I also use regular pine tar for like if I'm like, it depends on what kind of day it is. If it's like a misty day, I use pine tar. If it's not, I'll use this because I don't want to like, pine tar sort of messy and this one's like the cleaner way to like have it on your bat. And yeah, like I do recommend Marucci grip right here and also pine tar if you have it. So the next set of gear that I have is my uh, wrist guard. Uh, it's underarm and it's white. Um, I've been having this forever and I still use it till this day. It's reversible, so it has all white and then it's like camo. On the inside, but I never use camo. Just not my thing. So yeah, I always go with white, and yeah, it's very nice to me, and it fits very well. <laughs> All right, so uh, the next thing is basically appearance on how I want to look. Stuff I have in my bag. So it's gonna be sleeves. It's gonna be the Under Armour MLB sleeve. Uh, they're very comfortable. If you have not got one of these, I would get them because like if you look at the material just very nice and they fit perfect it has the mlb logo and also has the under armor logo and it like sticks out which is a nice feeling and yeah i got blue and white so it can match my school's colors and the white one here goes as the black under armor logo and then the mlb logo at the end also has like a little design to it if you look very close i don't know if you can tell but it has like a design in each of these sleeves and yeah it's pretty nice so the other stuff that I'm going to be getting I will show you in another video obviously the season hasn't started yet but it will be soon 
and it's going to be like the trainers that we have that are team trainers and you also have team cleats and then other stuff I did want to mention that is not in my bag currently is like the belts that I use. I use an Under Armour belt because I like the stretchiness of those and just like the material it has and the way it fits. It's like thick and everything and that's just me and also like Under Armour so that's just one thing I have in my bag normal time and then I also keep a pair of baseball pants just in case like stuff goes wrong say if you practice indoors but then there's a chance where you could practice outside I'll always have that with me I use Under Armour pants um, just my go-to obviously it's that uh, brand that I like to have and wear and then, yeah and that's basically it what's in my baseball bag 2019 this is everything that I have I will also have every item in the description everything and I will also have like a little close-up like just like like this and show everything that I have so it shows you like what it's like and everything if you have any questions on how they like fit or like if you like if I like them or not and do I recommend them just DM me on anything uh, contact me it'll all be in the description below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching my videos I appreciate everything you guys do and I was so excited to put this video out there because it was like my favorite type of video that I've ever done and uh, this one I'm hoping it beats my 2018. So thank you guys again and I can't wait to watch how my YouTube channel grows and everything and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That is it. What's in my baseball bag 2019? Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.